So, this is my arcade cabinet. Uh, I tried adding Micro Studio games. Um, basically, I run them in, uh, in Chrome, in kiosk mode. I created screenshots for a few example games. And uh, I can launch them from my frontend in my arcade. So, for example, Cube and so. Let me check if the video was okay. Okay. Let me increase the volume. So I can play the games. They play in the browser. And I can launch games individually. Uh, I do that by calling the batch, batch file. Each home is a batch file. And I let the emulator basically be a batch file itself that calls the parameter it, it gets passed. Uh, I can exit the game. For that I use a simple tool I created once to quit the active window. Uh, I can try another game. Ah, no audio. I need to create a program to click once on the on the main screen to enable the to enable the audio. Because Chrome blocks it if the if the window is not active. to do that oh I try another game meiosis it's a nice little game don't think it does audio So yeah, I can control it with my buttons from my game, from my uh, arcade cabinet. Uh, the reason that works is because the, the the joysticks and the buttons are emulated using an USB encoder that uh, acts as a gamepad. So as far as Chrome is concerned, this is a gamepad, and that's why the joysticks work so easily. I can also launch Steam games and so using it. So yeah, that's Meowzy. Which one do we have? Edgy the Edgy. Not sure what that is. I think you have to jump and collect apples. Yeah. And then jump again. And watch out for the spikes. Oh. Not easy. I need to do about something about the sound, but yeah. I'm not sure the game of the sound. Uh, uh, my own games I have also. Basically snacks. <coughs> it's a 4 by 3 game so it will be full screen here. Basically, you form rectangles by uh, uh, making the corners of the square you form uh, the same color. And it's not so easy always. Uh, here is one. Cube and so you want me long legs? We didn't try. Uh, let me long legs for some reason detects it as being run from a uh, mobile, that's why it displays those uh, up, down, and left, right um, buttons on the screen. Um, it's a simple, it's a puzzle game. 
uh, it can it grows its legs and you can uh, you need to read the exit not sure what the blue thing is I think it's a key yeah it's a puzzle game I think so it will do can really become more difficult I guess oh yeah I see it's already so let me try my block dude game and then I'll finish the video Because our game can become, can become quite hard. So yeah, uh, it's possible to watch these games and you basically let them run in, a, in your Chrome browser in kiosk mode and you specify a separate data directory and you disable the, the sandbox and then basically it works without problem and it will run, you do need internet of course uh, unless you have somehow uh, the games published as HTML, the, the, the files itself. So yeah guys. That was it, just to show you that it's possible to win Micro Studio games on an Arcada cabinet.